Greg, what's been the response uh, in Moscow to Theresa May's measures? Well, we haven't yet seen the official retaliation uh, announced. That's coming probably in the next several hours. Uh, but the response so far continues the defiant line we've seen from Moscow since uh, May 1st issue or ultimatum on this issue on Monday. Uh, they've dismissed these moves as uh, unfriendly, unjustified. Uh, they continue to uh, question the evidence uh, that uh, London is citing for uh, a Russian role in this attack. Uh, and uh, deny any Russian connection to it. So uh, it's still a tough line. At least that's the public line that we've been getting. Which is essentially what the Russian embassy in London said. We consider this hostile act as totally unacceptable, unjustified and short-sighted. What might the retribution be? Are we entering a, a, a tit-for-tat phase of this uh, relationship, uh, Greg? Yes, yeah, certainly that's likely to be at least the first step of the response. There'll be a uh, expulsion of an eco equivalent number of uh, uh, British diplomats here. It's a, it's a big chunk, ch chunk of the uh, uh, diplomatic presence for both sides. Each have about uh, 60 diplomats in the other uh, capitals, so that's a, a substantial reduction. Uh, and this is, as May said, the biggest uh, such expulsion in more than 30 years. Uh, so certainly that hurts relations. That's a uh, uh, you know, further freezing of ties. There will be other uh, steps, uh, meetings and other uh, potentially agreements cancelled, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, none of the harsher sanctions that, that uh, some had feared, uh, financial moves, so asset freezes, uh, the potentially threatened cyber attacks, or at least publicly weren't announced, uh, those so, so far don't seem to be in the works. At the same time, uh, as a result, there seems to be a sense of a certain amount of relief. At the same time, we did see, uh, Greg, Russian stocks fall. We saw the dollar gaining against uh, the ruble. Um, what's the sort of perception by market participants there as to what effect, if any, this could have on the financial markets and the economy in Russia? So far, the markets have been brushing this off. The movements in the uh, assets today were uh, pretty modest. It wasn't clear whether the stock market, which was uh, pretty thin today, w whether that was related to the, the May announcement or other, other flow issues. So far, the sense from investors has been this isn't going to affect uh, markets. There's not, not likely to be broad financial sanctions. Uh, relations with uh, the U.K. were already in a pretty bad spot, uh, so uh, further darkening isn't great. But it's not seen at the moment as a, uh, a major blow to the investment case.